Have you ever been called a thief or even an alcoholic or for that matter a loser or that you are a smoker? If you have, then it is the devil that is speaking to you in this manner because it is written in the Bible that the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob calls me by my name. Therefore, I am convinced that it is the devil or Satan who enjoys calling us a thief or a loser or a drunkard for that matter. I am pretty sure that you have met Satan in your life somewhere or the other, for he is the one who whispers inside you that you are a loser, that you have been defeated. Aren't you a smoker? Just when you start thinking that you can win, Satan will drag you back down again till you have lost all faith in God. However, the Bible has a different story to tell us. Through the prophet Isaiah in the book of Isaiah chapter 45 verse 4, For Jacob my servant's sake, and Israel mine elect, I have even called thee by thy name. I have surnamed thee, though thou hast not known me. In this uh, chapter, the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob even calls uh, the pagan king of Persia, King Cyrus, by his name. In this chapter, the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob used King Cyrus to destroy the enemy of the God's people, Babylon. Even though the true God was to Cyrus an unknown God, yet God knew him and he called him by his name. This prophetic message was written by the prophet Isaiah hundred years before it actually happened. Therefore, the exact fulfillment of this must have shown Cyrus that Jehovah was the only true God and that it was for the sake of Israel that he was prospered. In another example, when Mary went to the tomb to look for Jesus, she couldn't find him and began weeping. But Jesus called her saying, Woman, why are you crying? Who is it that you are looking for? Mary thought that it was the gardener, but when Jesus called out her by name, Mary, she immediately cried out, Teacher! In another example from the Old Testament, in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 3, the young boy Samuel ministered in the temple under Eli the priest when God called Samuel by his name three times. So we see that even though the devil knows your name, he enjoys calling you by your sin. Whereas God knows your sins, but he loves calling you by your name. So it is now up to you to choose whether you wish to follow Lucifer, who manifests himself in various forms, shapes and colors, and by a myriad of names in different parts of the world. Or do you want to follow the one and only Savior, Jesus, who calls you by your name even though he knows that you are a sinner? Let us now pray to conclude. Heavenly Father, thank you for using me in your ministry. Thank you for guiding me thus far and granting me your grace. I submit myself at your feet so that you can use me in whichever way you want. In your blessed name I pray. Amen.